You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And today we're at the Throttle House test track for a drag race. Look at that. The 2020 911 Carrera S, rear-engined, lightweight destroyer of C8s on our drag strip, 443 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque. Numbers that dynos have since proven to be severely underrated, and that doesn't even account for the sport response button, an overboost function providing horsepower and torque numbers that are still unknown. So today it faces the Camaro ZL1, a supercharged V8 weapon that puts out 650 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque. Front engined, about 500 pounds heavier than the 911 and supposedly a lot more powerful. It is a vehicle that we love and it's been known to take down ferociously fast cars. So let's see what happens. And if you're new to Throttle House, we do car reviews, track tests, and quite a lot of messing about. So subscribe and hit the bell. Okay, I'm taking the 911 this time because James had it last time with the C8 and the Supra, and I lost. Now I feel bad for James, okay? I, mean, I, don't, I don't feel that bad, I feel a little bad. Oh, he's just revving his engine, ooh, there he goes. Okay, because he's dealing with reality. The reality is, is that we're not on a prep drag strip. So those quarter mile times that you see are very difficult to achieve out here. You know in videos sometimes when you see people post quarter mile times that are exactly what the manufacturer says when they're on a runway? This is the real world. Okay, in the ZL1 or ZL1. Now I don't have a boost button and I don't have a doppelgriffel retriever. What I do have, I hope, is the support of everyone who's on the toilet right now. That's what I'm going for. Because I have a ton of power. 650 pound-feet of torque. 650 horsepower. This is the same engine in the Z06, C7, Z06. C8, Z06 is going to be awesome. Anyway, it's really powerful. It's really noisy. I have the disadvantage of the 1LE wing as an added option on here. I'm just going to claim that disadvantage. But yeah, the real disadvantage is not aero. In fact, I would welcome the downforce because the biggest trouble I'm gonna have is laying down the power. This thing turns every non-prep surface into an ice rink, which is really fun and scary. But that 911 just takes off like a rocket. Here we go, sport response. Oh, no traction. And I'm off, and oh my God. <laughs> oh, it's all over the place! This guy's fast! Okay, I was very much matching his speed. Oh, wow! I was very much matching his speed at the end there. How you doing? How you do oh, you have a look on your face. The look is is I lost horribly to Thomas in a drag Listen. race. Listen to what? Go ahead. I, I was at least matching your speed there. I think that the prevailing sentiment of society... Uh, of society? Is that launch control... No, the launch control of this car is amazing, but it okay. can't touch that still. Yes. And launch control isn't fair for the real world. So before we do a roll race, let's do from a dig, no launch control. I, all, all I hear is, I lost, I lost, I lost, I lost. It can't put the power down. <laughs> I hate when he's happy. I hate when he's happy. Now we haven't done this before. We've always used launch control when the cars have them. But on this surface, I think the Camaro deserves another chance. I'm not sure if it will make a difference, but that Porsche launch control is too good. I'm surprised he accepted the challenge because it's a bit of a cheat by me. All right, I have no idea how this is gonna go. Okay, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, that's closer. Oh, that's a lot closer. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, my 
my god, that's close! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's a photo finish! Launch control, you don't even belong, son! Wow. Wow. Oh. That was so close. So close. Oh my God, so I cool. I told you, launch control, you know. These cars are absolutely neck and neck, all neck things neck. considered. Rolling race. You know what, if I th that if this was even slightly 1% more prep surface, I'd have taken you there. I don't know about that because when we were rolling, we were rolling. I was still ahead. I was still. I was catching you the whole time. You weren't catching me. You were Dude, matching 650 me. 650 horsepower, 650 pounds. You got nothing. Those are, are real figures. <laughs> <laughs> rolling Ro race. Rolling race. Let's do a rolling race. Okay, here we go. Roll race. So I got to use the paddles to put myself in the right gear. But then this one, thankfully, auto upshifts, so I can just go foot flat from there. And... Uh, here we go. Oh, that's reverse. That's going to no, note. Don't tell James that, please. Okay, here we go. Supercharger takes on turbochargers in a fight to the death. And go! Come on, Camaro! Oh! Come on, come on! Oh my god! That's me. Oh, he just, he just stays there the whole time. He just stays just in front the whole bloody time. You don't look too happy, James. I thought I was gaining on you there, but I, I wasn't. Sorry, buddy. We were just staying. Sorry, Sorry buddy me. Listen, mate, but all right? You come round my end. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Stupid Porsche, stupid European <laughs> fan of that. Oh, it's got to make the faster car. So, because of the Porsche's launch control, it was able to easily beat the Z01 from a dig. But as soon as we removed the launch control from the equation, all of a sudden, the cars were very closely matched. The same was true for the rolling race. But that doesn't make any sense. Even though the Camaro is 500 pounds heavier, it purportedly has way more horsepower and torque than the 911. Except for the fact that clearly Porsche is hiding something, because that 911 definitely punches above its weight class. And as James stated in our previous drag race, it isn't even the turbo or the Turbo S trim, which will feature on Throttle House as soon as they come to Canada. Thanks for watching.